Hey everybody, today I'm Henry Satters. I'm going to show you how to make a traditional British shepherd's pie. Let's get straight into it. So the first thing we'll do is set a pot with some water to the boil and we'll get started in preparing our mash first. So just in front of me I've got four average sized potatoes and all we need to do is obviously give them a peel. So once your potatoes are done, just set those aside for now and we'll just wait for our water to boil. In the meantime, bring across one brown onion, slice through the middle, and all we want to do with our onion is very finely dice it. Next, just bring across a grater, and one big carrot, and we just want to grate that on the coarse side. Once your water is about to reach the oil, Carefully put your potatoes straight in and we just want to let those boil for about possibly 14 to 15 minutes. Just depends on the size of your potatoes, but we'll check it with a fork. Now just into a hot pan, add about 3 tablespoons of olive oil or vegetable oil. Once you've got a nice strong heat, add your lamb mince straight in. I'm using about half a kilo. And we just want to brown that. Now season your mince with a pinch of salt and some cracked pepper. Once you slowly start to get a brown colour on that, we want to add in our onions straight in. As well as our grated carrots. And just continue to stir that until it's nice and soft. And we want our meat well browned as well. After about 5 minutes, add in about 2 crushed garlic cloves and we want to stir that through as well. Along with about 2 tablespoons of tomato paste. And 1 tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And stir that through and get it all well combined. The reason I add the tomato paste while I'm cooking is when you actually cook the paste, it gets rid of that almost sort of soury flavour. If we add it straight into our stock, it's not going to cook, it's not going to be the same. But that's from just from my experience, it runs different. All we're going to do is pour about 2 cups of chicken stock straight over. Now, funnily enough, a lot of people add beef stock to it, which is kind of strange because the shepherd's pie is for the lamb. Oh, sorry, I should say the sheep. But a cottage pie is beef, so if it was reversed, it would make sense. So always use chicken stock with a shepherd's pie. Now, leave your heat on a medium to high, and we just want to let that simmer there for about 5 minutes, just so it starts to thicken up. So after about 5 minutes, you should have a nice, thick sauce like that. At this point, we're just going to add in about 1 tablespoon of plain flour. This will give us a nice, thick sauce. Now, if you are gluten-free or watching your diet, you don't have to add the flour in. It's not necessary. All it does is just thickens it up a bit. So it's obviously not crucial to the recipe and it won't really have any effect on the actual flavour. So just turn your heat off and let it rest there for a couple of minutes while we get started on the rest. So after about 15-20 minutes you can drain your potatoes. <coughs> and 
And the easiest way to check is just get a knife. It should comfortably go through like that. If not, you can use a fork, but it should slide in nicely without putting any pressure. Now just transfer your cooked potatoes into a large bowl. Now it's up to you how you want to mash it. I always use just a manual masher. You'll very rarely see me use an actual machine to do any sort of cooking work. I find that when you do manual labour, that's where all the love is. Plus it only takes a few seconds, so I don't see it necessary. And then cleaning your machines is very hard too, and painstaking. So just go ahead and just give that a rough mash like so. Now add in 3 tablespoons of melted butter. Along with some cracked pepper. And just a small pinch of salt. So while you're mashing, you sort of want to do a stirring motion as well. That also helps get it nice and soft. So now that we've got all the big chunks out, we can start with the rest of the ingredients. So firstly we'll add in about half a cup of full cream milk. You can use cream if you prefer. And at this stage, we should move on to a spoon. Or in my case, I'm just going to use a spatula. And how beautiful does that look? Now we'll add in about one cup of grated cheddar cheese. You can use parmesan if you prefer. And just fold that through as well. Okay, perfect. So our mash is ready to go now. So we'll get started in building our shepherd's pie now. Okay, so let's begin with the fun part. So get yourself an oven proof dish like so. Now depending on how big you have it or how small, you can obviously do this in separate batches. So that's just completely up to you. I'm just going to do it in one batch. But if you use small ramekins, you can do separate ones for the whole family, etc. So start by pouring in your meat mixture, straight in. Now you don't want to go more than halfway up the um, tin. Now for our mash, you can go ahead and spoon it straight in. I'm going to do this with a piping bag with a star shaped nozzle. Just to give it a bit of elegance I guess you could call it. Well, obviously this part isn't necessary, it will actually make your job harder too, because you could just go ahead and spoon the mash straight in. So that's just your decision. How beautiful does that look? And finally, we'll sprinkle some fresh mint on top. You can use parsley if you prefer, but since it's a lamb dish, we might as well go with mint as they complement each other. So this is ready to go now. Because there may be a chance it will overflow, I always like to put things like this into a larger tray, just so that it overflows, it's not gonna go into the oven. So preheat your oven to about 180 degrees for this. We'll wanna put this in for about 20 minutes. The mince is cooked, so all we wanna do is get the uh, mash nice and brown and crispy. So straight in. And just have a look at that. I've just brought that out of the oven now. So it took about 25 minutes. And obviously you want that nice crispy brown look. So let this rest for about 5 to 10 minutes before you serve it. Because you definitely don't want to burn your mouth. Okay, so after letting it rest for about 10 minutes, it's obviously time to serve this. So I'm just going to use a big metal spoon. And be careful, it will still be hot. And what you want to try and do is almost try to grab a slice out. Almost like you're scooping a lasagna. Although this is a bit more difficult. You want to scoop out your meat and mash at the same time, like so. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. Shepherd's pie is comfort food. And you just 
just look at that. How perfect is that one? Perfect for a nice winter day. I hope you like that guys. Please like and subscribe. If you have any comments or suggestions, just leave them at the bottom and I'll see you all next time.